San Francisco, Japan night. Lots of sushi, drinks, and startups. The concept of this event is to bring the top six startups from Japan. Uh, originally, there are 30 companies applied for it. Uh, 15 companies went to uh, semifinals, and we selected the top six. The six finalists are now here to present their product to venture capitalists. To me, I really was thinking about the most important thing would be, would the market want it? Is it scalable? Do they know how to scale it? And would it, would it make sense to the users? This is a win-win for everyone, as Japan has been experiencing a weakening economy. Um, Japanese companies need to be more out there. There's a domestic market that's sa being saturated now, so we got to go across borders. So, yeah. And with all this exposure, what better place to start than here? The idea is to give a chance to Japanese startups to actually go global. This year is actually a little bit unique because we actually started accepting startups that also have a physical product, not just like an app. So that includes like Wheel, which is a kind of next generation wheelchair. What we call Sidewalk EV for anyone can go, can ride and enjoy with style. There were also blogging applications, a platform for designers, and ShareWiz, which offers a new way of learning. Lectures are connected with each other, so you can go to the next lecture, like clearing a level in a video game. We just saw our six competitors go up and do their presentations, and now the judges are left with the hard task of figuring out who is the grand winner. And after much deliberation, it was time. And I think the official winner of the Cat 95 is Sherwin. How are you feeling? I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a tough world out there for startups, but the Sherwin's team members are going home winners, one step closer to their dream of making it big. For Link Asia, I'm Aaron Sit.